Back, last lesson. Functions as tables and graphs. And again, this is just an introduction. It gets a little bit more complicated and we do uh, more meaningful examples a little bit later on. But when it comes to the basic premise of what a function is and what it's not, here it is. I wrote this as a table and as a graph. I wrote this one as a table and as a graph. Now, there are two ways to tell whether or not something's a function. You can look at the table, and if you see any of the x values repeating, it's not a function. I only see one x value. Don't look at x and y, just look at the x values. I only see one zero, I only see one one, I only see one two, and I only see one three. Therefore, it's a function, because you only see one input value, or one of each domain value, or one of each x value once. And if you look at the graph, as long as it passes the vertical line test, the VLT, you are perfectly fine. If you can look at this, if you can trace this person's history or this graph's history, and it looks like at any particular time there's more than one point anywhere, you know that, fun that graph is not a function. It's a relationship, but it's not a function. Now I look at this, and this is a pretty decent looking graph to say the least. You know, at zero, they're at zero, at one, they're at one, at two, they're at two, and at the point three in their life, they're at three. So they're always moving forward. There's never any points, there's never any standstills. And if I take a vertical line anywhere, anywhere on these points, anywhere on these graphs, I can see vertical line, by the way, is a line that goes only up and down. I take a vertical line anywhere, it will only touch one point. See, it's only touched one point. See, it's only touched one point. See, it's only touched one point. It's only touched one point. It hasn't touched more than one point the whole graph. But if I look at this one right here, this table and this graph, uh, I'm a little suspicious of this. Both of these are relations, or relationships, but they're actually called relations in math. You know, they're the x is with the y, it's not necessarily happy, it's not necessarily dismayed, but they're together. I look at this one, 0 is with 0, okay, at the point 1 is with 1, uh-oh, look at the x value. How many times do you see the number 2? You see it more than once. That automatically is a red flag that it's not a function. In fact, I see 2 twice, no. and then I see 3 once. But if I look at the vertical line test for the VLT, I can see that, you know, this relationship right here, that, that's not functional at all. I mean, it's a relationship, but it certainly isn't functional. And I'll tell you what I mean. I take the vertical line test, and I test at this point in the line. Perfect, only hits one point. Only hits one point. Only hits one point. Uh-oh. It hit twice. There are two different points in this particular time that are hit by the vertical line. Uh oh, 2 is suspicious to say the least because 2 is coupled with 2 for the y, but it's also coupled with 4. Yeah, this relationship is not moving forward. You can see that you think it's moving forward, but there's kind of a standstill right there. So that tells whether something's a function by graphing it. You could also just look at the table, and it'll tell you the exact same thing. If you see the same x value more than once, only the x value, don't judge the y value. Only the x value. If you see the same x value more than once, it's not a function. Or if you look at the graph, just see if it passes the vertical line test. And that's the basic introduction into what a function is. Simple as that. Other than that, have a great day. Goodbye.